Hey guys, are you excited to hear all about the brand new 2022 release by Ralph Lauren, Polo Blue Parfum? Then stick around. So, I hope you guys are having a great day. Welcome to my channel, Kristen Rocks Frags. My name is Kristen, and it's time to talk fragrances. If this is your first time checking out my channel, please be sure to like and share this video, and don't forget to subscribe. So, another polo scent, ladies and gentlemen. You know how much I love polo. Um, they're really banging them out right now, aren't they? They're on a roll right now. So, there is quite a few flankers to the very popular Polo Blue, which originally came out in 2003. So, this baby just came out, Polo Blue Parfum. So this, like I said before, is a 2022 release. I couldn't find the perfumer, so if you do know the perfumer, please be sure to, uh, to share it below, that would be great. So this comes in uh, three bottle sizes. The 4.2 retails for, sorry, the 4.2 ounce retails for $116. Then the 2.5 uh, ounce retails for $96. And the 1.36 ounce retails for $65. So you get a nice little plethora of sizes there. So here's the bottle, very classy. The style kind of reminds me of polo green in uh, Cologne Intense. Uh, it, it's nice that you can see through it. It's got that transparent look so you can get, uh, you can check out your juice level. Very nice cap. I love the, uh, the gunmetal gray. Very cool, industrial looking. And it is plastic, but it still looks really cool. And uh, again, the sprayer has that gunmetal gray, that silver look with the cool, with their, with the Ralph Lauren on the bottom of the band there. And you got your information and your batch code at the bottom. So very nice bottle. And it does feel lighter than their older bottles. So I think they are trying to be a little bit more um, environmental, environmentally conscious there. Um, so very cool. I think their Polo Earth had something like that where I think their bottles are supposed to be 30% lighter or something like that. So I'm guessing they might have done something similar. I'm not sure. So let me go through the notes and tell you my thoughts. So at the top, we have mandarin orange, cardamom, and pink pepper. And then at the heart, we have vetiver, clary sage, lavender, and jasmine. Base, we have Alabanum, if I'm saying that right, patchouli and oak. So let's give them a spray. Kind of a narrow spray, but it gets the job done. So at the top, you get some very nice bright, a very nice bright juicy mandarin there, mandarin orange. But quickly it gets kind of spicy because of the pink pepper. And it gets more earthy and woody as it starts to dry down. Yep, the vetiver starts to peek through in the clary sage. I don't get the lavender so much. It's there, but I wouldn't say it's one of the key, you know, the star players. Um, as it dries down, that patchouli really pokes through. Um, I don't know if I noticed the ala alabanum too much. The oak, I would say yes, because it, as it dries down, it definitely gets woodier and kind of a more deeper, darker feel to it. So this isn't as aquatic as the previous releases. I definitely say this is more woody and aromatic overall. But yes, it does have the DNA of the original blue, of course. Um, but this does kind of take it in a different direction. So I definitely would say this is this one's a lot more 
earthy, woody, aromatic, and a little bit darker of a feel overall. Um, I, I like this one. Um, you know, it's very classy. Um, if you like scents uh, like Dylan Blue by Versace, but maybe you want something a little more elegant, maybe a little bit more well-rounded, a little bit smoother, um, I think you would enjoy this one. Um, I love Aqua Atlantique by Bulgari. That one I'd say is a lot saltier. So if you thought maybe the saltiness in that was too much, but maybe you want something kind of in that world it, it, with that blue scent with a lot of woody notes going on, this would be a great option. So um, now that I think about it, I am noticing the lavender a little bit more. So why it still does stay pretty woody and dark, it gets a little bit of a smoother, cleaner feel. I think the lavender helps give it more of a crispness. But uh, overall, yeah, it's definitely woodier and darker than the previous releases. Um, so performance-wise, um, honestly, I wasn't too thrilled with the performance with this one. I only got around four to six hours maybe um, because this is a parfum that's a given that this isn't you know parfum scents don't really project as much as an EDT would of course but I hoped this would be a little bigger overall and on my skin it just wasn't my skin seems to soak this one up or maybe I go blind to this one I'm not sure um, but uh, even for the first half hour, I didn't really think this projected that big. This is definitely one overall that sits closer to the skin, or at least on me it does. Um, but yeah, it didn't really last that long. Like I think maybe four hours. Like within a few hours, I don't really notice it, and no one really noticed this one on me. So because of that, um, this might be a really good option for a professional setting, like in the office. You know, something just clean and crisp, but not really attention grabbing. You know, something that, you know, someone happens to be near you, maybe they'll know and be like, ooh, that's, that person smells very sophisticated and well put together, but it's not, you know, obnoxious. You're not gonna choke anyone out with this one. Like, I think you could get away with a lot of sprays and not have a problem. Um, the other day, I wore at least, I think, eight sprays. Um, you know, I spray, I try to spray, spray my clothes and um, honestly, I don't know if that really enhanced the, the longevity, maybe another hour or two. But uh, yeah, I hoped the performance would be a little better with this one, but it was kind of lacking on, on my skin at least. Um, I think another occasion could be possibly date night. Um, I'd say of all the flankers, and including the original, this is the most sensual um, because of those, the, the, you know, the darker notes with the vetiver and the patchouli and the oak. Um, but then the lavender gives it still like a very crisp and elegant feel to it. Um, but overall, it's kind of more darker and deeper and sensual. While, you know, if you go back to the original, that one's very bright and happy and ozonic and more watery. Um, you know, that's kind of more of like a fun daytime scent to me, more casual. While this one smells a little bit more serious, you know, overall, which is why, yeah, I think office and date would be the most, it would be the best situations, I think. Uh, like, a, you know, going into a busy, like a club or something where you're sweating like, you know, something that you want to be a little bit more playful and attention grabbing this. I don't know if this would do the job. Um, I think there might be, you know, maybe I would go with the original polo for that, polo blue for that. Um, so overall, it's it's nice. I think I still perform, er, I'm hungry. <laughs> I think I still prefer the polo blue, the original one, and ultra blue. I wear that one quite a bit. Uh, those two I wear pretty often. Um, so it's good. I think it's definitely worth trying. If you have a lot of blue scents, I think I'd recommend trying this before just jumping out and buying one. It might be a little redundant to some of the other ones you have, 
but uh, you know if you don't really have a blue scent yet and you want to make your first purchase um, you can already find this on sale sometimes I, I've seen it on sale already so if you happen to find a good deal you know definitely jump on it it is you know definitely a really nice scent despite the fact that there aren't actually really like any marine notes listed it still gives me like a marine feel so it definitely has that blue aquatic feel although I would say the original and the ultra blue are a lot more aquatic so if you found maybe the ultra blue a little too salty or you know or maybe you found uh, the original maybe a little too you know youthful or, or too playful or something like that and you want something a little more serious and elegant this would be a great option for that so that's uh that's my review on polo blue parfum have you tried it do you like it love it or hate it definitely let me know in the comments below and uh once again thank you for joining me if you want to try before you buy definitely check out our website perfume.com you can get uh, decant sizes in many different uh, sizes so though you can definitely find the option that's best for you um, don't forget to use my uh, discount code KRF12 when you check out and uh, thank you so much for joining me and I hope you have a wonderful day of smelling good see you soon mm -hmm.